Hello everyone, it's Darkseeker here bringing you another Hearthstone video. This time we're looking at Paladin Arena, specifically Secrets Paladin in Arena, more specifically Mysterious Challenger with Secrets in Arena. Uther versus Thrall. For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. So this, uh, this game that we're showcasing here, a fascinating game because you're going to see some incredible value with the secrets and the challenger. Um, going up against a shaman, and we've got some interesting cards in hand. Unfortunately, no playable two drops. You can see the deck list on the left hand side. Um, it may not be terribly clear, but um, you can see a mysterious challenger. You can see avenge, noble sacrifice, and redemption. So only three secrets. But that's still good value if the challenger can draw them out. Uh, there's a two drop, and we're going to play it. Even though he may have a weapon, we're going to get some board presence going, which I think is really important against a shaman. Now, challenger is an interesting card in arena drafts. You, it, it's not often that you'll get offered it, firstly, because it's a, a, a purple card. But if you do get offered it, it may not offer you value because. If you don't have secrets in your deck, what's the challenger there for? It's then just a 6-6 for 6 cost, which you could argue is not the worst thing in the world, but if you're offered another card comparative to it that offers you value, you pick the other card, right? If you don't have any secrets in your deck, you don't pick the challenger, right? But I was lucky to have picked some secrets and then to have been off the challenger, so it was really good. Uh, Fork Lightning, really good for the Shaman there, able to clear my board, but I have the Aldor Peacekeeper, forcing his minion there to follow the rules. And he's actually thinking of trading, this is interesting. I mean, what, are you, what else are you going to do with a 1-4, right? You, well, actually, it's a good uh, Silverhand Recruit Slayer uh, with that one attack. But he's actually trading. He wants to get my Aldor down to one health. That's interesting. I guess it's um, the only way he thought he'd get value out of his one attack minion there, maybe. Oh, of course, that's that's why he did it. Right, Stormforged Axe. So there was a reason, there was a purpose, a method to his madness. It makes sense now. Um, Stormforged Axe, really good, because it will allow him to clear minions on my board. Unfortunately for him, I have a 3-3 with a Divine Shield. We must cleanse the sun and I reckon now he's going to pop the Divine Shield. Yes, he is. Okay, that's good. He's now going to get a good trade. Um between the 3-2 and the 3-3. But what I'm going to do is use Seal of Light and have two 3 health minions on the board that are difficult to remove with that weapon. That's a good strategy. That's a good strategy. Oh! Earth Elemental with a ridiculous overload. Um, sure. Let's see, we could seal a champions here, or we could mad bomber and just oh, see what happens. Yes, no, yes. Well, actually, the Wind Fury isn't bad, because it allows me to do this. This is actually pretty good. Seal of champions with Wind Fury. That's insane. Seven attacks, 14 damage a turn. Absolutely insane. Your magic shall not okay. He, he had to have the Spellbreaker in his hand, right? <laughs> He's down to eight health. What's he actually going to do now? I mean, honestly, what's he going to do? Um, this is where the Paladin excels. We swarm the board now. We put the Murloc Knight down. It's uncontested. 
Every turn we will hero power, every turn we'll get a murloc. The dream, of course, is getting a second murloc knight out of the original murloc knight. That's the dream, and um, that's happened to me far too many times in Arena when I've played against paladins. So maybe we'll get the dream here, maybe we will get our second murloc knight. He's at 5 health. Okay, he's at 8 health. Something needs tinkering? Okay, and there's no mech. So, at 8 health, I mean, really. Oh, look, hello. <laughs> uh, what's he going to do, really? Um, we don't have lethal. We, we don't have lethal because we can kill the taunt totem and we've only got 7 on board. Um, and, and to be honest, I want to have a bit of fun here, really. I, I don't see him coming back in this game, and I'm surprised he hasn't conceded, but I want to have a little bit of fun. So I think the um, the challenger has to come out, right? Who am I? None of your business. Who am I? None of your business. And there are our three secrets. Noble Sacrifice, Avenge, and Redemption. Now, we will hear our power. Reporting we do have space on the board. Okay, that's a bit rubbish. So, we do not have lethal. We do not have lethal, and it's a shaman. One of the things that worries me about shaman is spell power totem um, and lightning storm. So, I'm actually pondering trading here. Yeah. I'll leave the 3-3 three, three alive. I'll leave the 3-3 three, three alive. So, I don't think there's much he can do here. He's going to hunt for a beast. Um, it would need to be a taunt, but even then it's not enough. King Mookla! Wow, yeah sure, give me those bananas and it's over. Yeah, attack it. Um, noble Sacrifice! Get down! And then Redemption's gonna come into play. No, Avenge first. Must remember the order. Oh, look at that, the Challenger! Now a, um, an even bigger Challenger. Uh, a 9 8 and he can see. So, this felt like a constructed game. This felt like playing Secrets Paladin on constructed. And, um, yeah, an awful lot of fun. So, I just thought I'd showcase this game and then we'll have a, a quick look at the deck. But, yeah, this, uh, this is quite incredible. Just getting sheer value out of those secrets. Um, unfortunately, though, if you draw the secrets into your opening hand, you don't always get the value, so it's not always good. But anyway, thanks very much for joining me, everyone, and uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon.